morning to say the least i already went ahead and started with the laundry because i have a lot of laundry to do i just came back from a trip and it is about time to do some laundry because i need some clothes and i need some workout clothes but anyway i just sat down again because i want to make a list of all the things that i need to get at costco i need to do a grocery run because i literally have nothing in my fridge right now except condiments and then water and that's basically it so that's one of the things that i need to do before i go to costco i try to make a list of the things that i need to get at the grocery store just to kind of avoid over buying food items um also in regards to like meals i feel like i go out to brunch or dinner with a friend or two throughout the week so i'm not really like eating every single day at home so i would like to be more conscious of what to buy at the grocery store especially because there are days where like i'm gonna have a meeting at a restaurant i think i'm gonna go to costco instead of like target foodland or safeway to get my groceries because i just need some items in bulk like my salmon i like to get my frozen salmon at costco because it's just so easy to make and they're honestly like my favorite meal to make throughout the week so i need to get that i also need to get a bunch of lemons because i cannot drink water unless i squeeze some lemon in it okay unless i really have to but i love a good ice lemon water but other than that i feel like i've done most of the tidying up in the house so first things first laundry it's that's checked already it's already going i have to go to costco later i want to upload my back to school haul for youtube if you guys didn't know this about me i graduated last year i have a degree in economics which is pretty surprising and also in business administration my major was in economics but i think the amount of classes i've taken for the last couple of years kind of checked off with you know the classes that you needed to get an economics degree so i ended up graduating with economics and business administration and then i also have a couple of certificates like business certificates which is awesome because now i can i have those like on my little resume or on my list and the rest of the things on my to-do list are basically admin work um so i have to edit and post my wayfinder hotel collab because i had stayed at wayfinder and i have a couple of deliverables with them and then i also have to edit my pause studio ugc content then i also have my paxon content i shot all my paxon this weekend and i'm so happy with how they turned out so i'm hoping that it gets approved asap asap so then i can post those for you guys and last but not least on my to-do list is to finish my book every summer after you guys i am back on my reading era okay i feel like i took a break for quite some time like i'm so giggly with this book you guys it's such a wholesome book i'm not finished with it yet um i have this much left to read which is pretty good because i read this in the span of two days 
Six summers to fall in love, one moment to fall apart, a weekend to get it right. They say you can never go home again, and for Persephone Fraser, ever since she made the biggest mistake of her life a decade ago, that has felt too true. Instead of spending glittering summers on the lakeshore of her childhood, she stays home in a stylish apartment in the city, keeping everyone a safe distance from her heart. Until she receives the call that sends her racing back to Barry's Bay and into the orbit of Sam Florek, the man she never thought she'd have to live without. For six summers, through hazy afternoons on the water and warm summer nights working in his family's restaurant, Percy and Sam has been inseparable. Eventually, that friendship turned into something more before it fell spectacularly apart. When Percy returns to the lake for Sam's mother's funeral, their connection is as undeniable as it has always been. But until Percy can confront the decisions she made, they'll never know whether their love is bigger than the biggest mistakes of their past. Since I'm almost done with this and I am on my fiction, my romance fiction kick, I recently picked this up at Barnes & Noble. It's called Twisted Love. Yeah, I will catch you guys in a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and spend quite some time on my laptop because I have not answered any emails yet and then also edit on my iPad for the UGC and um, hotel collab that I did so there we go Just one road to take It's growing up over with green So easy to drive on But not what it seems The poison is spilling upstream And it's taking out hours since I last updated you but I've just been working on a couple of Instagram posts for PacSun. I just sent in my content for approval. Usually for sponsored posts um, before you can post it on your in-feed you have to give it to the brand for them to look at and then approve it and then you can go ahead and post them unless they like specifically tell you like what specific day you need to post but for PacSun as soon as it's approved I can post whenever so I've just been doing that and now I have moved to the couch because my back was hurting from sitting on the chair by the island. So I'm going to go ahead and continue working on my admin work and this time I'm going to be editing my Wayfinder Hotel um, UGC content or just like stories and stuff because some of the lighting on the photos are kind of dark and I'm like, eh, I don't really like that. So I'm going to work on that on my iPad because I like to have like a bigger screen when I edit my photos. Also, this is weird. If you guys didn't know, Twitter changed their logo to X instead of Twitter now. And I haven't been on Twitter since they did that little transition. Like, I just don't find it as fun anymore. guys so i saw my content at 10 45 and it's now about to be 12 15 and i just got the green light to post all of my content which is super exciting because i said love 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 all approved to post so all right guys my skin looks glistening right now it's literally my morning skincare sunscreen and probably sweat but it is about lunchtime. it's 12 40 right now and i am going to be cooking some lumpia I got these from Costco and they're honestly pretty good like not bad and since I only have a little bit of left I think I'm just gonna go ahead and cook everything 
I have my pan and I'm about to pour some oil in and then just cook these. These are so easy to have and cook and they're also really good. And if you're like, oh my god, that is so much oil, you need this much oil, guys. And then you just cook these until they're golden brown. And then you can make your own little vinegar sauce or sweet and sour sauce. But I love vinegar, so I personally use this one. I got it from Foodland. It's spice vinegar. You can easily make this, but... I just went ahead and bought it. and then also Costco. First things first, I got some onions for taco night. I got my bananas for banana bread. I don't have the patience to wait for my bananas to be really ripe right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and use this and just like smush it. I also got these little pickle chips. They're really, really yummy and really, really easy to just like snack on throughout the day. I got sour cream for taco night, the little milk chocolate chips. For the banana bread, I got iced coffee. I have this coffee chocolate chip um, ice cream bar. I have Yakult. I have baking soda for the banana bread. I have vanilla extract, butter, baking powder. Um, I needed a new little soap dispenser for my soap because it's not working. I just got the mini size one from Target. All right, from Costco, I got instant rice for the days that I don't really want to wait 20 minutes to cook rice. These come in so handy and they come in an individual pack. So I like just having them around. I also got a huge bottle of QP mayo. This is honestly so good. I stocked up on black pepper because that is an essential. I picked up these steak strips just for snacking. I really wanted Hello Panda and the chocolate one is my favorite flavor. So I got this huge pack. I also restocked on my Kirkland fruit pouches. These are also really, really nice to like snack on throughout the day. A big bag of lemons because I use lemons on everything. Avocado. Um, I got this grass-fed slice um, sirloin steak. I got some white tuna or tuna salads. I got my Wella shots. I got two pack of ground turkey instead of ground beef just because it's a little bit on the healthier side. And then another bag. Here we go. And then my favorite one, which is the human. And last but not least, I got buffalo sauce for taco night and just pretty much everything. Also, you need to get this from Costco right here because this is so handy. Like, it fit everything that I showed you guys and 
it made the whole trip so much easier for me to like carry and bring all the food stuff inside the house. Good evening. It is about to be 4.30 p.m. right now and we are going to make um, banana bread. I don't have any super ripe bananas, but I have been craving them ever since I saw this chocolate chip banana bread recipe and I really want to try it. So I went to Target and picked up a lot of the ingredients. So we're going to go ahead and do them today. So what you will be needing are some bananas, of course, your choice of chocolate chips that you can pour over your little spread butter, white sugar, brown sugar, you're going to need two eggs, almond milk or any whole milk that you guys like, vanilla extract, baking powder, and baking soda. And then I have this big baking plate. I don't really have the smaller ones. So we're just going to have to make use of what we're going to do because I didn't want to buy a smaller size of this so we're just gonna go ahead and try that and use that and yeah also if you haven't tried the starbucks mango passion fruit frozen lemonade yet you need to go out and try it because it is so good it melted on the ride home so that's why i just put a little bit of ice but it is so good as a little lemonade instead of like the frozen puree one <laughs> that I wanted to unbox so let's go ahead I just opened this one and this one is from Mason Margiela and I smelled it already it smells so 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 yummy you guys but this is what it looks like and thank you so much Mason Margiela next I got a package from Keiko Jewelry and they sent over a little gif of this bangle and it has um, floral engravements on it and then we also have this ring it's a little small for the rest of my um, fingers but it does fit on my pinky but it's a little too big but I feel like if I use some kind of soap and then just like slip it in it'll be fine but thank you so much Keiko Jewelry like these are so freaking cute you definitely check them out next we got a package from Kiehl's and this is for their back to school little collection we have the deep pore cleansing mask I haven't yet to try this but I've heard so many great things we have their best seller which is the ultra facial cream we also have the Kiehl's creamy eye treatment then we have the ultra pure high potency serum with 5% niacinamide it also came with this little pouch and it's so cute because I love getting makeup pouches like these they're really really nice to store skincare or um my electronics like my camera batteries and whatnot so I like that this one came with this little packet. Next we got a package from Riot Swim. They have really really nice and super flattering bikinis. 
and they just sent me like this little beige one and I'm so excited. We got another package from Kiehl's and I'm pretty sure this day passed but we have National Avocado Day and they sent over the Avocado Nourishing Hydration Mask as well as the eye cream and I'm so excited for these. This one also came in the other PR that I showed you guys but this is new so I'm excited to use this as well you guys look at this super cute package I just got from Puffin Drinkware they said Frina welcome to the Puffin fam we can't wait to see you how you and your drinks have fun together these are so cute you guys these are basically like little drinkware sleeves so you're not like holding a cold bottle of beer or coke or whatever um using your bare hands and I love that you can like set them up like that oh my god it's so cute and I have this color and they're just so sweet you guys they gave me this little sticker I just got my package from PacSun I'm working with them again for August and these are my selections these are the pieces that I have to highlight we have a couple of cargo pants because that's what they wanted to highlight the most and we have some tops here this is prepping for my fall content basically as you can see there's like a lot of sweaters knits pants not so much um summer items or like bikinis but i'm super super excited and look at this you guys why these aren't so cute these are the high top um chunky ones I have a white high top but it's just like the normal sole sole to it and I just know that's gonna look so cute and it'll definitely add some height to me because I'm only 5'2 and that's on a good day but I'm happy that this one is included in this PacSun package because that's gonna be the shoe that I will be matching with the outfits that I have so thank you so much PacSun it's super exciting to be working with them again and yeah oh, also from a loho collection i got this little pouch i love these especially for when i go to the beach they are so handy they're waterproof sandproof and they're also just super super cute you guys and this is the size for reference it's basically my whole the height is basically like my hand but i love using these for like my wallet my cameras and whatnot or if you just bring me like one bikini it's really, really awesome. I just got this pure package from my friend here on Oahu. She has a swimwear brand called Amor and Swim, and she sent over their newest collection, which is a super cute tube top. And it's actually also very versatile because you can wear it as a halter or tube top, like take out the strings and whatnot. And you can also wear it like for daily activities, like if you're running out errands and not just at the beach, which I really, really love. And I'm so excited. It is double lined, so you not gonna be showing anything which is nice because i feel like a lot of white bikinis are pretty thin and see-through but for this one it is double line and then look at the matching bottom you guys it is this slit skirt it has this really flattering skirt on the side there is the bikini bottom that is attached to the skirt and i think it's very very unique i'm taking a break from baking and i kind of want to read a couple chapters maybe even finish this before i start cooking dinner who knows we'll see it's only 5 53 it's about to be six o'clock i should probably cook dinner soon but i kind of want to take a break and read a couple chapters of my book i'm so excited i've been talking about this since this morning and i am honestly so excited to read it so I'm just gonna go ahead and read maybe a chapter or two and then we'll cook dinner.